Hi, everybody, and welcome to No Story is Sacred. If you've never listened before, basically we're four siblings who grew up talking about the art of storytelling. Now that we're adults, we're still talking about it, and we're inviting you to join the conversation. I'm Brendan, and you know what? I'm a paladin. I'm Pippin, and I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Pippi. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Nerd. Fight me. I'm Alex, and I'm a rogue. And I'm Cat, and I'm a bard. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, you could just take any line from uh, Jaskier in The Witcher and just imagine me saying it. Can I imagine yeah. all the times Jaskier gets hit in the head? <laughs> wow! I do that every day. Let me... Let me just write a song about how disappointed I am in you. <laughs> you need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> And be tied to Henry Cavill. Anyway. Hey. I mean, yeah. <laughs> huh? Pippin, I'd like to point out, yes. you get tied to Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, despite our introduction there, uh, we're not talking about The Witcher today. Too damn um, bad. <laughs> eventually. We, we all Can need we to watch. we commit to it eventually? We'll commit to it. Thank you. Right here, right now. <laughs> uh, we we need freaky wizard sex. Uh, yes, we do. Is there any other <laughs> kind of wizard sex? Says the wizard. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so we're we're at a long road to today's podcast here. It's been a week. It's been a week. It's been a week. It's yeah. Originally, we were going to uh watch Airheads. However, uh the streaming gods being what they are, it has suddenly disappeared from all streaming platforms. So, we decided uh as a fallback to go on and slam and watch Space Jam, but then it's a week. It's we didn't want to. We didn't want to like uh, bring up any kind of stuff like that necessarily. It got too real, too real, unexpectedly. <laughs> Which is not something I'd ever expect to say about Space Jam. Listen, <laughs> I didn't want you guys to talk about how Bugs Bunny visited me. <laughs> no, we weren't space. going we can- to talk about that. No. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, so we're 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 going to do something a little bit different tonight. So rather than say play Wheel of Tropes, uh I actually found this AI dungeon exploration game online earlier this week and I thought it would be fun to play it with all of you. Yay! This will basically work like a choose your own adventure. I'll, I'll read off whatever this computer god creates for us. We'll interpret whatever randomness it makes because let's be real. It's a computer. It's going to get weird. <laughs> but what's interesting about this is that rather than traditional choose your own adventure stuff or games or text based adventure games, instead of having the simple text parser, it has basically the ability to do all sorts of inputs that you might want into it. So if, say, Kat, as part of her choice, decides to have us board a bus to Albuquerque in the middle of this high fantasy adventure, <laughs> the AI is going to try and process that, and who knows what will happen. Well, I'll try to process that one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bugs Bunny came to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wow! I- <laughs> Jesus! For some ground rules here, do we want to establish that all of us make, uh, we can't make two choices in a row or, or just consensus rules and then we just go with it? Uh, mm, chat amongst ourselves for all of us, but we take turns with final say of what we put in. So that cat's ooh, not okay. the one putting in every single idea. Wow. Wow. Fair enough. Listen. First of all, let me get my loot. And second of all. <laughs> <laughs> Toss a coin to your sibling. <laughs> oh. You assholes of plenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've given you too much power. <laughs> anyway. Wait, we're not talking about The Witcher today. <laughs> we're not. 
We'll do that in the future, I'm, y'all. I'm so My sorry. My new that game, I'm, by the way, is going to be talking about. The- <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm only halfway through the season. <laughs> you should be. Oh, Pippin, there's so much naked Henry Cavill you haven't seen yet. <laughs> so much to discover. Listen, I'm going to have a really good weekend. Fair Hell enough. You yeah. and your bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> live text okay. me so to start us off here with this interactive experiment. adventure experiment yeah experiment i like that al yeah. we're doing our experiment in exchange today it's gonna be <laughs> mystery sibling theater <laughs> three thousand <000. laughs> uh, i i just have to ask you guys what setting would you like would you like fantasy mystery apocalyptic Zombies or custom? Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. You know, we we might get to an end pretty soon. You never know. We can always restart. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying we should avoid apocalyptic right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, fair. And zombie. <laughs> That's yeah. just always with me. Unless we can somehow trick it to doing a romance, but maybe we can trick it anyway. <laughs> if we finish fantasy, let's try custom romance. Custom romance? Yes. I agree. All right, so I'll pick fantasy. All right, and let's select a character. Are we a noble, a knight, a squire, a wizard, a ranger, a peasant, or a rogue? So Al's a rogue and I'm a wizard. I quite like rogues. I yeah. Sorry, yeah. Pippin. Wow. I listen. I always knew Alex was your favorite. I mean, he's <laughs> all of our favorites. Alex is all of our. Fa- Alex is the best of us. The best of us. And and to be fair, if I picked wizard, my solution to everything is cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whenever I play a wizard in D and D, my default move is fuck you. Yep. And I, I'd be okay with rogue. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let's do rogue. Yeah. yeah. A daring rogue. And now. What's our character's name? Oh, I'm out, y'all. I played this game earlier, and unfortunately, I, I played the uh, the detective angle of it. <sighs> so the name I chose was uh, Biggles McConnelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you can choose you if you want to go with that, but Biggles McConnelly, I'm super in favor of. I'm very proud of myself. Biggle. I'm a bard. Do you just want to go with Biggles for short? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh, can he be Mr. Biggles? <gasps> Mr. Biggles. Mr. Biggles. Oh, I love yes, it. Yes, yes. Mr. Bigsley? Kind of like a... <laughs> I mean, I feel like Austin, Biggles is where so. where it's really at. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Biggles. Okay. That's the I'm sweet spot right it. there. I really hope somebody at, at, at a point in the story says, oh, Mr. Biggles. <laughs> <laughs> it's on how oh, Mr. Sense. Biggles. Oh, Mr. Biggles. Oh, Mr. All Biggles. All right. Let's get ready. Oh, Mr. Enter. Biggles. <laughs> it's generating the story, y'all. You are Mr. Biggles, a rogue, <laughs> a rogue living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a long steel dagger and a length of rope. Okay. Thanks for something. Good, good for a good time. Uh, you <laughs> walk down the city street looking for someone to steal from, or somewhere to steal from, rather. You look around and see nothing worth stealing from, so you decide to rob a jewelry store. As you approach the door, you hear some noise outside. It sounds like someone is breaking into it. You quickly run inside and grab your bag as quick as possible before the thief gets away with all your money. Wait. Okay, so... So, it sounds like some asshole got to the heist before we did, right? I mean, it seems like it. Or is it sounding like someone is stealing our heist? Oh, those assholes. Can we yell, stop, thief? Yeah. Or do we yell... like that. Or do we yell, oh, fucker, we were... I was here first. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Ooh, Don't forget to use like quote that. marks on this. Fucker, I was here first. All right, it's thinking. You shout at the man who just entered the shop. He looks surprised by your outburst and then turns back to his work. He doesn't even notice that you are right behind him. But he does turn around when you reach out and grab his wrist. Ooh. All right, so we have him by the wrist, you guys. What do we do? You're under arrest, and we put handcuffs on him. Or <gasps> tie his hands with the rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretend we're cops. You're under arrest. <laughs> well, do, well, well we, have to, we have to pick one thing, I think, or maybe I can make it a couple of sentences. I mean, we won't know unless we try. 
Let's break okay. the bot. Break the bot. Wait, no. It's a good. It's a good dog. It's trying its best. Okay. Yeah, you know, we're teaching it a lesson. Oh, Jesus. don't mess with writers. Uh, They're good so, robots, Brent. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have it do. Tie his hands with rope and say, "You're under arrest." Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's taking a while to think. It's thinking about it. I mean, I take a while to think sometimes too. It's fun. Real talk. Again, when I tried this earlier, uh, sometimes it just didn't spit out an answer. Yeah, it's been an answer, but I'm trying to understand it. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what the hell is wrong, you say. The man looks at you with an angry expression on his face. He says, what do you want? You. <gasps> oh, no. I'm going to make this a romance one way or another. <laughs> you, comma, only you. <laughs> Don't hurt the quote marks. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm remembering. <laughs> <laughs> Al, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's seduce this bot. <laughs> you know, how, how the bot uh, reacts is a little weird sometimes. So, no, I am the one who should be arrested, you reply. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the man's eyes widen and he starts to cry. He runs off crying while you stand there in shock. You feel ashamed of yourself and start walking away. Oh, goddamn. We take the loot with us as we go. There you go. Take the take loot. The loot. Take, the loot. <laughs> take the loot. I assume that was loot L-O-O-T and not L-U-T-E. No, Kat's got her L-U-T-E. I got the loot right here. Why not? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you continue walking down the road. Suddenly you hear a loud explosion followed by a bright light. The sound of the bomb has made you jump up and down in excitement. Fucking bomb. Yeah, Excite- we're, we're down for bombs, bomb y'all. You. A few moments later, you see something similar happen in another building nearby. Oh, shit. I think that guy is a bomber. What do you guys think? Ooh, yeah, maybe. Oh, whoops. Probably should have stopped them then. <laughs> <laughs> we really should have arrested him when we had the chance, you guys. You mean like that time when we said, I'm arresting you, and then he ran off anyway? Listen, we got and lost cried. in his eyes. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I guess uh, we, we have to do something. Uh, help the townspeople. Aw, altruistic, okay. All right, all right. I mean, you could say no. I'm just over here playing my loot. <laughs> help the townspeople. <laughs> you know you know that uh, shot from uh, The Road to El Dorado? <laughs> <laughs> We're just madly playing yes. the loot. Yeah. That's me. Yes. That's me. <laughs> Constant. And have you seen the the uh Witcher variation yes. on that gif? Yes, I have. Also me. Nice. Uh so you guys rush towards the explosion site and try to help those people who are injured. You don't know if they will survive, but you need to help them anyway. You find a group of people lying on the ground covered in blood. <gasps> I just want to say, "Welp, I tried," and walk off. <laughs> wow! I was thinking we perform triage. Who can be saved? Okay, uh, Al, what do you think? Triage. Okay. Eat the dead. It's like you guys paid attention to EMS stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, dear listeners, some of us were registered EMTs at one point. Yeah, but the one of them was me, and I'm the one who said, "Eat the dead." <laughs> <laughs> But also, Whoa. you're you. It actually had a response for this. What? You immediately begin performing triage. You check their vitals and see if they're alive or dead. If they are alive, you give them medical attention. If they aren't, you call the authorities to come get them. Oh, wow. It- Damn. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. All right. The things the bot knows. Listen, this bot has just become 20% sexier to me. Yeah, good job. Now <laughs> hey, I'm bot. not sure what to do. Well, uh, we checked the vitals on the people that are alive. We, we gave the medical attention. So uh, we look around for clues. Th- oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, look for clues. Are you okay with that, Al? Yes. I like how you guys were all like, Kat's going to choose all the options. Mm. Listen, this is how I get away with shit. <laughs> mm. I'm going to compose a sonnet over here about my feelings. Roses are red. Violets are blue. <laughs> you all were wrong. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That wow. is about approximate to my, like, skill at rhyme schemes, by the way. Okay. Uh, you look around the scene and see no signs of anyone else being involved in this crime. There's a lot of damage to the buildings and vehicles. 
You think you might have heard explosions near the scene, but you can't be sure, since you haven't been paying attention to such things lately. I mean, fair. I don't exactly, uh... My head's not on a swivel, right? I I feel like that makes us a bad rogue if we weren't paying attention to our surroundings. (laughs) True. Mm. Well, it never said that we were a good rogue. I mean... We started off with this adventure with having somebody else be already at the heist that we were planning. True, but they were clearly laying down another bomb. True. We Why were they crying? That. What's hurting them? That they, this is their cry for help. Maybe we could try and find the crying man. Ooh. Yeah, try that. Yeah, find crying man. And yeah. then comfort crying man. One yeah. bed? Question mark. <laughs> were they roommates? <laughs> Oh my god, they were roommates. No, no, <laughs> they were boom mates. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the shit was that? That was Alex just being the best of us again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You go over to the crying man and ask him where he got the idea that you were responsible for this. He tells you that he saw you running through the streets after hearing about how you killed a couple of guys trying to rob him. Oh shit. Did we? Comfort. Comfort the crying man. Comfort the crying man. Yeah, let's comfort that crying man. What's your name, friend? <laughs> How long are you in town? <laughs> Want to stay town? a night longer? <laughs> New in town? Looking for a good time? <laughs> aw, aw. You hug the crying man tightly and tell him that it won't be too much longer before you return home. He hugs you, or he thanks you and hugs you back. You walk home together. <gasps> oh my god, were they roommates? <laughs> Fuck the butt. Fuck the butt. Uh, do we say, hey, I only have one bed? Yes. 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 Oh, my God. Do it. Do it. There's only one bed. The bot's going to be so confused. Or it's going to know exactly the right answer. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, I, uh, <laughs> hey, I have only one bed, you answer. Well, you'll have to sleep on the floor then, God he replies. Damn it. Wow, That's shut <laughs> down. Ugh. That's Ugh, fine, do you, you reply. Do Thanks I? for your concern. He smiles and walks away from you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, guys, we blew shut. it. We blew it with we the blew it. That, We blew we it. Need, that, uh, we can salvage this. I think we need, need to make some tea. Because you know what? Tea is nice, it's soothing, and it doesn't impair consent. So call, call. True, true, very true. Ooh, yep. Now I want tea. Same. Oh, oh, we have- oh my god, I have sweet tea. <laughs> <gasps> you bitch. We're gonna make this man some tea. You gonna open my can? Oh, oh no. No. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious, delicious sweet tea. Wow. Wow. Oh, guys, I think we're back in this game. <gasps> yes! He noticed that you are looking at him with interest and asks what you're doing. You explain that you want to make him some tea. He seems interested and says that he would like some as well. Hey. Ask him if he likes it sweet. Oh yeah, do it. Do, it. do you like it sweet? And do you like it? <laughs> do you like it sweet? And do you like it hot? <laughs> do you like it sweet and hot? <laughs> I mean, better than with extra cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had already hit enter. I'm sorry. No, that's Pepin. that's fine. I didn't actually want to say. Also. <gasps> All the people who oh. knew me as a child, I don't get the joke I just made. <laughs> do you like it sweet and hot, you respond? I do, he responds. <gasps> I can add some cream. <laughs> do it. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? Our I- best. We <laughs> Listen, in this terrible world we live in, we need this right now. <laughs> this is the kind of story we need right now. <laughs> I can add some cream. <laughs> Oh, this poor bot. <laughs> Sometimes I feel guilty about the things I make my bots do. Aww. Like anytime I have like one of, cause I have one of the really older Kindle devices, like uh-huh. the ones that still had the audio, like the, the uh, text to speech feature, uh-huh. um, which is why I will never get rid of it. But I will upload fanfic onto my Kindle and then I will have it do text to speech. And then I have the uncomfortable realization that I am having a robot read out loud sex scenes that it hasn't consented to. <laughs> I I was checking to see if PDFs could be read uh, with a screen reader off of Google Drive on my phone. And the PDF I happened to have 
on my Google Drive that I could test with uh, uh-huh. was fanfic. Uh huh. And I forgot that it's going to read the header because it was from AO3, which includes all the tags of that fic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so I wasn't paying attention. So it was just going like, oh, here's the fandom. Here's the author. Here's the date. Here are the tags. I'm like, what? No. Were you in a were you in a public space? Were are people listening? No, I was wearing headphones. Thank God. Oh, see, that could be so much worse. <laughs> oh, it could have been. Yes, I was in the room with my coworkers. Oh, that's hilarious. Ha! Huh. I have the response. <laughs> oh yes. Oh sorry. Yeah. Yes. From I can add some cream. You nod and smile. You take a small cup out of your pack and pour yourself a cup of tea. The man takes his own tea and pours himself another cup. You both drink up the teas quickly. Yeah, you do. So you can finish before the sun sets. What the shit happens when you drink tea after the sun sets? I mean, I don't know. If it's not decaf, you stay up. Um, uh, well, <laughs> after, sun, after sunset, it, it's business time. <gasps> it's uh-huh. business. Well, guys, guys, it's the sun, yeah. the sun is setting. What do we do here? What are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> we put a hand on his knee and ask, what are we doing? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is is this happening? <laughs> I feel like this is happening. <laughs> Put my hand on his knee and ask, what are we doing? This is normal <laughs> sibling behavior, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this is what other siblings spend. Oh, their- Jesus. Wait. <laughs> Whoa, now I need to know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Did he shut us down again? Uh, no, no, it's weird. It's different. Oh, no. <laughs> the plot happens. You put your hand on his knee and ask, are we going to do anything more tonight? Holy the man shit. looks down at his feet and says, no, dot, dot, dot. I suppose not, dot, dot, dot. <gasps> then he turns to face you. His eyes are red and swollen shut. Holy sh- Oh, I do not approve of this poison. turn. <laughs> Was it poison? poison? I guess. It has to be, Did- right? Did we poison him instead of fuck him? We are doing this so wrong, you guys. <laughs> the computer totally misread us. Wait, so no. which pouch did we take the supplies from? Oh, no. That was supposed to give it a, 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 a cinnamon kick twist. No, I poison him. Oh, shit, you guys. Uh-oh. Guys, Iocane powder, it's odorless, tasteless, and dissolves, uh, dissolves instantly in water, <gasps> including tea. Oh, no. Wait, is, does it say that? Or are you just... No. Okay. No, no, no. I haven't put anything in yet. That's just what it is, right? Clearly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so what uh, are we going to do? Who did this to you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Say that. And then if he's like, uh, you did, bitch. And then we'll be like, oh, fuck. Who did this to you? Thinking. It's business. It's business. Oh, yep. you say, who did this to you? Who hurt you? <laughs> Good question. What okay. I ask myself the, all the time. <laughs> the man nods. He doesn't speak again until he falls asleep. Oh shit. Oh no, he's not supposed to fall asleep. Nope. That's bad. Uh, uh, take him to the doctor. Yeah. You know, it occurs to me, guys, hmm. we have been really rude with this guy. We haven't even asked his name. Oh shit. Oh. Listen, he's just that good. Like, sometimes <laughs> you just feel it. Sometimes you just vibe. Listen. Yeah. Listen, I'd like to point out how in Sweeney Todd, we are well into the musical. Antony and Joanna are planning to run away together. And it's during that song where Joanna's all like, wait, I don't even know your name. <laughs> she huh. sings. I feel like we shouldn't plan our lives around the actions of characters in Sweeney Todd. That's hey, my thought on that one. Antony and Joanna oh, survive. I mean... She was <laughs> locked in a madhouse for, for like, months. But lived. <laughs> and... She did. No, oh, no, she did kill someone. Never mind. <laughs> Once again, Pippin, your arguments are flawed. Anyway, uh, we grab the man by the arm and run off into town. I guess it's sunset, so maybe the doctor's asleep. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, have the doctor cure the man? <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck it. Yeah. What's the AI gonna do? Go to know that's wrong? <laughs> I mean, it has done that literally a couple of times so far. But not in so many words. <laughs> I like how we're like, what's the AI gonna do? Tell us we're wrong? It's like, yes. You're wrong, says the doctor. Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, uh, okay, here we go. You have the doctor treat the man. 
It is a simple procedure, and after a few days, he wakes up completely healed. The next day, you head back to the inn, where you find that there has been an increase in business since the incident. Okay, okay. Uh, Talk to the innkeeper. I think seduction's out of the... Of this particular yeah, guy. Yeah, we lost that one. Yeah, we, we kind of, we, we, we fucked up that date, you guys. Not in a fun I mean, way. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, accidental poisoning. Kids, keep your tea and your poison in separate pouches. I think that's what we've really learned here. Yeah, that's, that's the thing to take away that's from That's the takeaway. <laughs> yep. Nothing else. Nothing else to take away. Just that. Nothing else whatsoever. We only have one bed. <laughs> we tried so hard. We tried so hard. It just was not happening, guys. <laughs> well, you walk into the inn and see the owner sitting behind a desk. He looks up when he sees you. Hello, how may I help you? He asks. Would you like a cup of coffee? No, no, why not? <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like some tea? Mm-hmm. Ask him how business has been. <laughs> yeah. I have curiosity, not to, to rain on anyone's parade. What's our end goal here? I have no idea. We should probably come up with something. I say if we can actually manage to seduce somebody, that's an automatic win. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That or figure out the mystery of the exploding town. I mean, I guess. <laughs> or successfully steal something. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wait, actually yeah, be we- a fucking rogue? <laughs> yeah, like the beginning of the adventure. Yeah, mm. yeah. All right, uh... It broke a little bit here. You say, comma, nothing. Uh, so you say, how has business been? Uh, the innkeeper looks over you and he smiles and he says, the inn has seen an increase in business since the incident. You look around and notice that the town hasn't changed much since yesterday morning. There are still people walking about doing their daily lives. Case so he's a liar then. <laughs> That's what we're learning about this guy. He's a fucking liar. I like casing the joint. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's... can you say case the joint? That's, I'm, I'm doing exactly that. Yes. Nice. Well, it know what that means. It knew about triage. True. The sexiest that any robot has ever been to me. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Robots are super sexy. <laughs> oh, it's not our day. Uh, you walk outside and watch as the sky begins to turn orange. You hear a loud explosion, followed by screams Holy and cries shit. for help. You begin to wonder if you should go check it out or stay here in case something oh, happens. For fuck's sake, uh, go check uh, it out. Yeah. Wait, do you guys disagree? No, I just, I just see what happened there. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I'll case the joint. Kaboom! Damn it! Good, but I said in case something happens. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, I'll go check it out. Maybe instead of triaging I mean, victims, we'll just steal from their bodies. Oh, there you go. Oh. Steal from their bodies. Wait. <laughs> Eat the dead. Loot the corpses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Loot right, the corpses. Uh, That's good. You decide to check it out. You feel like you need to prove yourself. If you really want to be a hero, then Do you will I? show everyone what kind of hero you are. You walk towards the explosion site with your sword drawn, ready to save anyone who needs saving. Oh, the okay. AI went way different than we were planning to. <laughs> Loot the dead. Loot the dead. <laughs> Well, now I feel bad. Uh, yeah, that's no, not the, my fault. <laughs> the the bot should learn better, Pippin. Uh, <laughs> bot needs to learn. Can you just write and save people and see what it does? We got. How, how, let's go big. Save everyone. Ooh, ooh. Uh, save the empire. <laughs> you know, I like that. Damn the man. There you go. Yeah. See, you're feeling it. Okay. Uh, it didn't quite know what to do with that, because it says, you think about all the things you could do with money. You can buy food and supplies for the army, pay off your debt to the bank so you don't starve, pay off your landlord so he doesn't kick you out of his house, or whatever, etc. I think that's me justifying looting the dead, you guys. Yeah, that sounds like looting the dead to me. Woo! Oh man, this escalated quickly. <laughs> My favorite thing in this whole thing is listening to your reactions before the rest of us know what happened. Yep. You walk through the ruins of the city and see bodies everywhere. Some are burned, some are burnt beyond recognition, oh, some are just bones and skinned heads. Oh my the God. smell is horrible. You can only imagine what happened to them between the explosions. So, it's... I'm just imagining... It was a peaceful day, right? You know, there were some explosions before we came out of the inn, more explosions happened, and then we just kind of go into this weird daydream about having money and paying off, like, 
our rent. <laughs> and then you kind of step out of it and it's like a hellscape. <laughs> Did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> what oh, every that's, drunk that's... and Steve Urkel <laughs> <laughs> I can say that <laughs> quotes <laughs> yeah do it fuck it yeah did I do that did I do that <laughs> did I do that oh man am I gonna watch Mulaney this weekend uh, you are yeah. The Witcher and Mulaney that's a great combination that is a perfect combination and I hey support. guys guys okay. guess who showed up again <gasps> The Is crying it a man? Love? You ask, did I do that? No, the man replies. <gasps> I didn't either, you reply. Well, maybe you did, he says. Wait. You start to get angry at him for lying to you before and now again. Kill him. What? No. <laughs> what? But we don't Assassin even know his name. Assassin from head trauma. <laughs> Listen, cat, he's our one true love. We can't play him like that. I can assess him for head trauma. <laughs> yeah, because this language wasn't clear. <laughs> Okay, you walk closer to the man and try and grab his hand. He grabs your wrist and pushes you away from him. What's wrong? What's happened? You ask. That was a trick question, he says. Oh, shit. <laughs> what was a trick question? <laughs> ask what was a trick question. I mean, we're we're all clear that he's definitely the one who's been laying these bombs, right? Probably. Yeah. <sighs> I'll catch a grenade for love. <laughs> the trick question, you ask? Yes, the one where you asked me what the trick question was, he replies. Oh, shit. Oh, well, you say, trying not to laugh. It's okay. I'm used to being lied to, he says. Whoa. But okay, so now. he's got some baggage. He does. This is like a, but, you know. I mean, obviously we'll still sleep with him, but it's, this isn't going to be a forever thing. <laughs> no, he... <laughs> I mean, I think we need to be direct. We need to seduce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Seduce the man. Because I think I think this uh, bot doesn't quite understand innuendo. <laughs> mm. yeah, you're in you. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Classy. <laughs> mm. Tastes like class. Aw, it doesn't really know what to do. You smile and nod. Okay, I'll tell you, you say. So how did you know what the trick question was, he asks. Because you're a liar, you reply. But I'm telling the truth, he protests. What? I think this guy's too dense. I think, uh, I don't know. Al, do you think he's worth salvaging? He's dumb. Is uh, he pretty, though? A good follow-up question. Is the man pretty? <laughs> yes. I like how we have a one-track mind with this adventure. Listen. Listen. We need nice things right now. <laughs> and if it's a dumb, pretty man, so who is, be it. Who is a dumb, pretty man who is most likely a terrorist... He most likely I mean, is. Most likely. <laughs> yes, you are pretty, you say. Thank you, he smiles. Ooh. You continue talking for a while more until eventually the sun sets and darkness takes over. The next day comes and goes without any news from the man. Oh. Wow. Did he ghost us? He ghosted us. He might have ghosted us. I think the- Search for the man. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ghosts us. Hell no. <laughs> Maybe it's because we still haven't asked his name. We haven't. Shit. We still don't know your name. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe that's a failure on our part. Possibly he has a reason for not wanting to hook up with us. I think I think he I think he goes to out of the city cuz you wake up early and prepare yourself for the journey ahead. It's been a week since you left the city and you haven't what? seen anything out of place or unusual on your way here. No bandits, no monsters. Nothing but empty fields and trees. Oh, shit. Wait, what? We ghosted him! We did ghost him. <laughs> well, that was very rude of us. I mean, but have we learned a lesson about this? Uh, ask their names. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Nobody thinks you're committed if you don't ask their name. Mm -hmm. Life lessons here tonight, kids. <laughs> don't poison any people on a first date. I mean, wait, let's not be hasty. Wait, it's and they might be terrorists. Or giants. <laughs> and, and who knows, we might uh, we might find him again on the road here. He could have left town, and we're hot on his heels. Oh, who knows? So I guess we're uh, we're a week out from the city. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Go to the man's house. <laughs> <gasps> sure. Look, find the man, rob the man, finish the adventure. I like this plan. Yeah. What do you guys think? Because yeah. listen, as we all know, the healthiest response to rejection. 
is revenge. Right. That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Pippin? <laughs> Actually, before before we kill him, guys. Wait, kill? <laughs> I think we have to ask his name. I was going to start Robin, but all right, go on. I mean, we can do both. Fair enough. All right. Uh, you walk along the road and look around. Nothing looks out of place. You decide to go back to sleep. What? You hear something outside your window. You open it and peek out. There stands a tall man dressed in black armor, <gasps> holding a sword and shield, looking like he belongs here. Oh, shit. Hot. Okay. What's your <laughs> name? Okay. What's your name? <laughs> okay, it's new. Okay, we've got new hotness. New hotness, okay, guys. We can start over. We, can, <laughs> we learned our we lesson. We can find love again. <laughs> Hey, sailor. Are you new in town? No, we need to ask the name. Name. I'm new in town. Oh. And it gets worse. <laughs> My name is John, he responds. Oh. Uh. Mulaney. <laughs> yep. Uh. My name is Biggles. <laughs> How did you get this far away from the city, you ask? I've always had an aversion to cities, he replies. Oh. Are you a ghost? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important to know off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Are you a ghost or a fae? <laughs> Good question. Good question. You could say, are you magic, which is kind of the lowest common denominator. Yeah. I don't know, but we're specific, I think. Okay. Aw. Uh, no, I'm not a ghost, he says. Then who are you, you ask? I don't know, <gasps> he answers. <gasps> You're John. <laughs> <laughs> You think about it for a moment and then say, do you want to come with me? Oh, damn. The bot knows what's up. We got this, you guys. It's in the bag, yo. Take John with us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but where do we take John? To bed. Home. <laughs> take John to bed. Yes. <laughs> take John home. It, no. Do we do the specific or? We take John to a mo- movie first. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what? We, we, we've. We've been sticking to fantasy tropes so far. Let's take him to a movie. It's a fantasy movie theater. Don't question it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We're taking him to a movie. We're, we're going to do this right, you guys. Not like our first <laughs> and best love. First love. <laughs> we're going to treat this one right, you guys. <laughs> yeah. We'll never forget you, man whose name we never got. <laughs> man whose name we didn't bother again. <laughs> On more than one occasion. John thinks for a moment before answering. Sure. Why oh. not? Yes, it's working. You explain that you need help finding some treasure, oh, fuck. and that you'll be leaving tomorrow at dawn. Guess where the treasure is? <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't worry, there's a trail. Oh my! <laughs> oh. God. oh my god! <laughs> well, John seems excited by the prospect of going to a new town, so he agrees to accompany you. <laughs> Guys, I think we're in. We've got. I this. think we got. We got a shot. We got a shot. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, so we haven't left yet. Uh, uh, I mean, we don't. We have the one room at the end, you guys. Take take John to room. Yes, <laughs> yes. To our room. Ah. To my room because it's it's not we're not multiple people technically within the game. Or are True. we? <gasps> well, it could be implying that's uh my and John's room. Okay, call, okay, call. <laughs> it's a little forward, but you know what? Maybe that's what's needed here. Yes. Huh. Well, this is kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you head to your room and lock the door. Oh. You begin to wonder if you should bring him with you or not. What? When you arrive at the movies, John is waiting pati- uh, patiently in line with you. Oh, so the robot I- is totally fine with the movies. It, Apparently. it got us where we were going. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. I, th- I, think, right. I think we need to be polite. We're going to buy the tickets. I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was our idea. Yep. Dear listeners, uh, please do not take anything we're saying as legitimate dating advice. Just a thought. Though. No, 100 take the, 100% take this as legit dating I advice. I mean, to be fair, It'll what work. have we said so far? Don't poison <laughs> your date. We also said that revenge is a great idea. And it is. Well, Are you saying you don't stand by that one? I do stand by that one. <laughs> you decide to split the cost of what? the two tickets for John and yourself. Okay. Whatever. Look, maybe he's okay. a, maybe he's a modern kind of knight. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe. it's true. He doesn't want to feel ca- uh, the coddled. Uh, thanks, he says as he thanks you. <laughs> you exit the theater and make your way home. When you arrive, you see that John is still waiting in line behind you. Wait. Invite John. Invite John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Do it. 
Invite John inside. Yeah. Oh, yes. No regrets. Just love. <laughs> okay. So, sometimes this bot is just bizarre. You decide to let John wait in line. What? You enter the house and knock on the door. <laughs> Come in, you call out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This is clearly Direct a fever action. dream. <laughs> yep. But it's going to be oh, a no. sexy fever dream. Yes. <laughs> Kiss. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's where we're at now. I mean, that's how we know it's a dream or not. We could be still in that city dying from weird explosions. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. If this breaks the dream and we're still in the city, then we know. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> you enter the kitchen to find John sitting at the table eating cereal. <gasps> he smiles when he sees you. Oh, my God, you. guys. Morning hey. after. <laughs> Hey, he greets. You sit down next to him and put your arm around his shoulder while kissing him on the lips. <gasps> yes! We oh, did guys! it, guys! Oh my Seal god! The deal. Seal we, the deal. we did it, you guys. We did I, it. I want to thank God and Jesus. And the Academy. <laughs> and the Academy for giving us this opportunity. I want to thank um Archive of Our Own, which is part of all of us. We are all winners. <laughs> We we all won tonight, and you guys. I want to thank the fans. <laughs> Nothing without you guys. All right, so I think I think we need to leave John here for now because we have our happy ending with him. I think uh, there there's still a couple of things left undone. We need to steal some treasure. Okay. And we need to kill a guy. Oh my god! Will John still want us after we kill a guy? He doesn't. John have to doesn't know. have to know. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no. This is a relationship bit of honesty. Guys, I like how this is dividing right down the middle. Alex and I are like, hmm, and then you two are just immediately all in. What the shit? Listen, Brendan and I have always been weirdly similar. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we, Brendan and I will do what's necessary. Wow. Dark. <laughs> um, all right, all right. So uh, we got to kill a guy and we got to steal some shit. Uh, go outside, steal something. I mean, we could just be direct. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. What have you got left to lose? Other than John and his stuff. I can't believe it actually worked. This actually really does tell us, though, that the other dude just did not want to sleep with us. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Yeah. He just was not into it, because it wasn't the bot mistaking things. <laughs> okay. Uh, you think about what you would do if you were John. Would you tell him? What would happen? What? You decide to try it anyway. What? is going on what i don't know and why am i so turned on by it <laughs> return to the city i guess yeah sure. all right oh <laughs> okay uh <laughs> it didn't interpret that the way i thought <laughs> You decide to stay with John and continue your life together. <gasps> the following oh. days pass quickly. Oh, you spend shit. time playing games and watching TV until nightfall comes around. I, I think the bot refuses to not let us have this happy ending. <laughs> you know what, though? I support the bot. And I mean, maybe maybe this is what it's been wanting this whole time. Maybe it's been getting visitors, keep wanting to have adventures or some shit. And it's just been waiting. It's had its heart broken over and over again. It wasn't sure about us, but we kept pressing it. And finally, it's like, yes, at last. Now I can have a happy ending. Aww. Y'all, when you already think about it, love actually is all around. <laughs> <laughs> you flaming bitch. <laughs> Why isn't that on the list? You know why. Let's add it to the list. Fuck. Oh, no. For July. So we can have Christmas in July. <laughs> Boom. Last Christmas. All right. So what do we do with this uh, situation here? We're, I mean, we're having a happy, peaceful life. I, see, I guess we're the rest of our life with John. Here's, yeah. yeah. Oh, the only thing is, uh, the only thing is, if we accept it, I'm worried he's going to die in the next move. And listen, I'm curious to see if that happens. Yeah, same. All right, fine. Live our life with John. If he dies, though, you'll be upset. I'll be so upset. Then we go on a mission of revenge. Oh, life with John was good, but now it's over. <gasps> it's time to move on. What? Oh my god. Aw. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna go steal some shit. Yeah. Go steal some shit. <laughs> Our life is taking a downward turn. Without John. John's love. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Time for some revenge, y'all. We're gonna steal some shit. I can't believe the bot brought us together and then broke us up. 
when we were wanting the opposite both times. Yeah, right? Oh, the man. second we accept something, like then it's gone. There's a moral there. It, it's continuing the neg- negative trend here. Time no. passes. You're tired of living with John. Oh, God. The relationship isn't working what? out, and you don't want to deal with all the problems that come along with it anymore. <gasps> You've been thinking about this decision for a while now, and you feel like you can start fresh somewhere else. Oh, my God. Wow. It what d- kind of monster are we? Oh, my God. I think we need to find that bomber man and yeah. kill him. You know what? You know what? It's not John's fault. I think that we just have a lot of unaddressed issues, specifically related to that bomber man. And until we heal ourselves, we're do not we ready. we need to go to a therapist? We do. But we're not ready yet for, for After John. After the revenge. We'll see if we can go find the therapist, get cured via the therapist, and then return to John. Happy ending. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we're going to find the bomber man. Oh, why don't you type in find the bomber? Ooh. See what happens. Yeah. Might work. <laughs> and then we'll seduce him. Oh, it's, see, now the bot is hung up with John here. <laughs> you walk to the nearest store and grab a bag of chips from the shelf. After grabbing enough food for today, you head back to John's place. You figure you can get rid of him tomorrow, <gasps> since he'll be too busy sleeping off his hangover. What oh happened in our relationship? I don't and know. why can't we let it go? Are we going to have to say leave John? I don't... I think I think return to the explo- uh the explosion site. We'll we'll trip it up. Maybe go to the city. We tried that once. Oh shit! You're right. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. And, trip and it up the bot first. was all like, "No, fuck you. You're in love with John now, and now I am." And the bot's all like, "No, fuck you. The relationship is dying." I'm like, "You can't do this to me. I'm <laughs> sensitive." <laughs> Oh, man. You decide to return to the explosion site since you need to clear your mind. Oh, you walk through the streets of town and eventually end up in front of John's house. You knock on oh, the door. Jesus. Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? A voice answers back. Oh, no. Whose voice? Whose voice? Oh, no. I am not ready for this, you guys. What if What if he's seeing the bomber behind our back? <gasps> oh, my God. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm getting very uncomfortable with the direction of this game. It's me, John. I'm coming in. A few seconds later, you hear a loud noise followed by a flash of light. You look behind <gasps> you and see the house is gone. Oh you then realize you didn't even make any sound when knocking on the door. Oh shit, was this a dream, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Did we get a currents at Owl Creek Bridge? <gasps> Motherfucker! How does this always come back to that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to write that down. Yes. Is it Owl Creek Bridge? I believe so, yeah. Wait, let me double check, because I feel like if we're going to get the bot to do this, it needs to be right. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. An occurrence at... I'm not sure that matters, but it's an occurrence at... Well, too late. Yeah, well... I didn't, I didn't include the and. Hopefully that won't matter. All right. No, you just got lucky. Whoa. You take a deep breath and check yourself. Before you wreck yourself? <laughs> yes. <there> for that. <laughs> you then look around and see nothing is damaged or destroyed anywhere near where you were standing before. You also notice that the area looks very empty right now, so maybe nobody saw anything. What? I think we need to find the man. Find the man. Get his name. We gotta get- we have to find the man. Guys, 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 quick question. Yeah? Are we Tyler Durdening right now? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. We might be. Oof. Fuck. I love how we're spinning out into all these possibilities, and the bots are also... It's probably just like, let's put some words in. Oh, no. No. No, I'm not ready for this. You slowly approach the house. You can still smell the smoke and see the charred remains of it. There's no way you can miss it. You cautiously peek inside and see a burned body lying <gasps> on the floor next to a chair. Oh, my God. Not John. Oh, my God. This bot. This asshole. Oh my god, though. I can't. I can't. I can't. No. No. Dear right. everyone listening, if you could write me a uh, <laughs> fanfic about our life with John and about how yes. happy we were forever. Yep, yep forever. Yeah. Uh-huh. And if we need a fix it fic and a five time. <laughs> a five times they never did, and then one time they did. Five yep. times they didn't say I love you, uh, and one Aww. time they did. And one time they did. We need that. Aww. That's what we need. I, that's what the world right. needs right now. <laughs> so so as our character here, do we... Uh, I, I, I can only think of a couple of things. 
we could do the uh protagonist buries the loved one scene or we kind of immediately go and try and find the uh the killer uh, can we say revenge. swear revenge yeah seek revenge uh oh i like swear revenge yeah oh. or secret oh. oh i i can go either way actually. i feel like seek revenge uh is more action oriented yeah she's not wrong I, i'm for do 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 oh. cry <laughs> Oh, Barry and then Seek Revenge. Okay. Barry, John. Oh, God. I'm just worried that they're going to bring him back from the dead or something. And that's just more emotional mishmash than I can handle. The, fir- the first thing we asked him was, are you a ghost? <gasps> no! <gasps> no! Oh! It knew. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. oh, this is weird. <laughs> you pick up the body and put it in a pile of wood nearby. You then cover it with more wood and leave. What? You go back home and tell John what happened. Um, oh. wait. wait, wait. What? How are you still alive? Are you real? <gasps> oh. Oh my god, are you real? <laughs> if it says no, it's gonna. It's gonna fuck with us. I mean, if it's no, then we have to kill him because he's clearly not John and it's an imposter and we, that's not okay. <laughs> well, but here's the thing. You ask John if he's really is real. He says yes. So you accept his offer to stay the night at his place for the night. The next day you wake up early and sneak into John's room while he sleeps. What the shit? I mean, what are we he... about to do? I don't know, but I, I kind of like the original little swear revenge story. <laughs> let's, <laughs> A little bit let's better. Let's some revenge. Yeah, and I hope the bot isn't going to think we're swearing revenge against John. This True. fucking thing. Who knows? You know what? I'm not convinced it's really John. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I get to react first. That's my privilege here. Your privilege and your curse. You quickly open his bag and pull out the dagger. You stab him three times in the chest, killing him instantly. Holy shit. Yeah, right? You run out of John's house as fast as you can and hide outside. It takes a little time, but eventually you manage to escape the city. Okay, to be fair, you guys, we have accomplished thing number two now, though. <laughs> we, we've killed we a killed guy. We killed a guy. That's okay. I think he was an imposter. Because remember, we saw his dead body. We did. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, we kind of stole a dagger, too. Uh... You know what it is? We didn't ask the bot. If it was an imposter, John. So I think we figured it out. I think we figured that it out. That makes sense. So we, we killed the imposter, which is probably the man, right? Right? We didn't just kill some random person who was involved in the crime. I mean, it, our house was blown up. Blown up. It was. Yeah. With the body inside. And Aww. I'm, I'm pretty sure sh- I think that was actually John. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Also, our character may or may not be insane. I mean, what's, what is sanity, really? True. And what is love? Got to do with it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, the question we have to ask ourselves. Yeah. Is do we believe in life after love? <laughs> Such a good question. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I think I think we need to complete one more thing on yep, our bucket list which here. Was, uh, steal something. We gotta steal something. And so we left the city. Mm-hmm. And even though we killed an imposter... It does look kind of bad for us because they know that we lived with John for like several years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I think we need to go to like a, a neighboring kingdom and maybe steal something from the king. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. That seems responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Our life is on a downward spiral, you guys. John is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Here's like 80% of our, <laughs> of our, pr- of our, uh, what's it called? Self control. Yep. We're going to the neighboring kingdom. All right. Uh, you decide to go to the kingdom of Larian. Wait. <laughs> the, the king will probably be able to help you. You travel through the countryside until you reach a small village called Tivoli. You spend some time there and learn about all their culture and history. Okay. Deal their history. There might be a museum here. Yes. Oh, I love it. Do uh, 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 you guys think that's cool? Steal their history? Yeah. Yes. Do it. Steal their history. Steal their history. We're Carbon San Diego, (gasps) y'all. Yeah, we are. (laughs) Where in the world is? Okay. You decide to steal their history. You want to know everything about them. After spending some time in the village, you finally feel like you've learned enough and decide to leave. 
you head towards the nearest large city named Nero, which lies far away from Larian. <laughs> okay. Fine, rob a bank. <laughs> yep. Actually, no, no, no. We got to go full circle. We were trying to rob a jewelry store. Ooh. Let's rob a jewelry store. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's where we're at now. You know, it, this kind of runs against common character stuff where we're ending up exactly where we're starting, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Full this circle. Is, this is the hero's journey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> there, are cir- there are character arcs. He's right. You decide to rob the jewelry store in order to learn more about this world. You don't care about how dangerous it might seem, though, since you're going to use your knife instead of a gun. All for all that okay. yeah, fantasy world gunplay you do. Yeah. I mean, we did go to the movies and watch TV a lot, yeah. so Also, we don't know what we don't know what John was into. He might have been into gun gunplay. <laughs> he might have. It's a, it's a fantasy gun, don't question it. Flintlocks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, uh crack the safe. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, sure. Since we can't uh, John can't crack our hearts anymore. <laughs> our hearts are dead. Just like John Jesus. Either by explosion or by dagger. <laughs> All right. Uh, you rush into the jewelry store and start cracking the safe. You manage to crack it and grab all of its contents. You throw most of it onto the table in front of you, hoping they'll catch whatever valuable items are inside. Grab all valuables? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You grab every single item that you can find. You take gold rings, necklaces, bracelets, and even some precious stones. Woo! Precious stones. All right. I stones. think we need to escape. We need to escape the city. Yep. Trust yep. me, and we can escape from the city. Wouldn't it be nice if we could lay a jewel on the cairn we built, John? <gasps> Aw. You mean that wooden cairn? Listen, John just really liked wood. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> A plus, Pip. <laughs> we can return to the burnt house, <laughs> right? We absolutely can. All right. Uh, we get back on the road and try to make it to the nearest town. Eventually, you arrive in a, a small town called Sinkhole. <laughs> Great town. Uh, you spend some time there and learn all about their culture and history. You also learn that they have a thriving black market where anything goes. Nice. I anything mean, goes. I, I think I think it's great, but you know, we have a mission. We need to. Put a jewel on. It's true. On the John Grave. On the John Grave. For you, John. Mulaney. <laughs> I'm returning to Burnt House. Because <laughs> we're getting to a good point to end. Yeah. <laughs> and discuss. <That> too. <laughs> and see. All right. Uh, you decide to return to the Burnt House because you need to see what happened with it. You enter the house and check the bedroom. There's nothing left except ashes and dust. You look around and realize that you didn't lose any money or valuables either. I guess place a jewel on John's grave. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like so concerned about what's going to happen. I know, right? We're on the edge of our seats here, folks. Okay. You put a diamond ring on John's <gasps> grave. We didn't even oh, specify god. ring. <laughs> oh, God. We didn't. We place the, the ring on top of the grave and then we leave the cemetery. And because it wouldn't be a book without having a, a sequel uh, cliffhanger, the next day you hear screams coming from outside your window. Aw, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Maybe we can find love again. <laughs> we can find love in a hopeless place. <laughs> oh, but you know what? That's a story for tomorrow. For now, we're just going to sit with this. Wait, we're so a toast, John. Are we, go- are we going to sing... The story of tonight? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you start, Pip. <laughs> Tell the story of tonight. <laughs> Raise a glass to freedom. <laughs> Something you oh. will never have again. <laughs> Lawrence, I like you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was the story of our not very good rogue. Let's be honest here. Rogue. Hey. We did rob that jewelry store. <laughs> yeah, the last possible thing. <laughs> it's not our fault that we found love. Actually, we were specifically looking for it for a large portion. And would you thing. argue that we stole John's heart? Ooh. We did. Like, I'm just trying to parse together, like, the sequence of events as we uh, went through it. Like, we botched a heist. Yes, we did. Right? Yeah. And we successfully don't arrest someone. 
It's true. We try to seduce the bomber. The crying man, as he was known then. Yeah, the crying man. The bomber, uninterested Very in our approach. Weird. Ghosted us, the asshole. <laughs> that that was the <laughs> shittiest thing he did. <laughs> and then, like, more bombing happens. We leave. Yeah, we're just like, yep. we're piecing out of this. <laughs> you could argue that we left that to the proper authorities. <laughs> I mean... But the authorities didn't do jack shit. Neither did we. Because uh, the, the the bomber was still active. It's true. Yeah. Neither did we. And technically, we did poison him and then bring him to the doctor. <laughs> Whoops. It, yeah. That's on us. Our bad. <laughs> Look, Our bad, guys. <laughs> we were trying to find love. I, I want to say from the bomb of my heart, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, you know, we had some good times there. We had the good times with John. I think I think it got a little stressful at the end there because, you know, that 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 terrorist guy was still out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that was really what was causing the stress in the relationship. If we had a chance to go to counseling, I think we would have gotten through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we were on the brink of going to therapy. Let's not listen back to where we said we were going to leave. <laughs> well, we weren't going to leave, leave. We were just going to seek revenge mm-hmm. and then come back. But then <laughs> the bomber killed John and then tried to assume his identity with Which like- Which we then I, had to kill him for. Yeah. Theory. Yeah. Theory. Yeah. The bomber realized what he missed out <gasps> on. Oh. Oh, good call. Oh, shit. You know, oh. we are all that and a box of crackers. Box and a box of I crackers. Mean, this is clearly a fantasy realm, and we never, like, all, all that we ever saw when it came to the explosions was a bright flash of light. This bomber could have been, like, a wizard. That's true. And they have shapeshifting. And they do. Mm-hmm. So this, this fucked up shapeshifter, wizard, terrorist, was like, I want, I want what John has. Yeah. And. That makes sense. The thing is, we weren't fooled. And so we stabbed him three times in the chest. As one does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was a healthy response. <laughs> it was the only logical choice, really. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, you know, putting that diamond ring on John's oh, grave. Oh, God that- damn. I'm so mad that we didn't even specify ring, but it knew. <laughs> I'm so mad that, like, it was really into it. Like, the the bot was really into our seduction. Like, it just had to be the right person. Yeah. That's yeah. a lesson for all of us. Either that or are you a ghost is a A plus 100% pickup line. <laughs> so listeners, try the are you a ghost pickup line and let us know. <laughs> Brendan, I dare you. Next, a billion dollars. The uh, very next time you see Julie, force words <laughs> out of your mouth. I mean, I'll try. I mean, I'm just saying apparently it works. <laughs> I mean, really, I think you guys are the uh, the test samples here. No, we looking at you all pointedly. We need to know that it works, no matter. <laughs> we need to know that it works at least in some cases, even if that that case is very heavily weighted. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that was a much more interesting experiment than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, for real. <laughs> there were <laughs> highs and there were lows. There were some serious lows. I I want fix it thick so badly. so badly. <laughs> We laughed. We cried. <laughs> I'm I'm a little upset that we weren't referred to as often, like because we had the character name Mister Biggles. Oh, that's true. But in our mind's eye, we can just imagine the happy life of Mister Biggles and John. Mister and Mister Biggles. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the title of one of the Fix It Fix. <laughs> yes. Aw. Because we put the ring on the grave because we never got to propose. Oh no. Aww. Aww. I'm not okay with any of this. I'm. Oh no. We enjoyed watching movies Are together. Are you going to write it, Pippin? I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> Are you gonna write it? Are you Shut gonna up. write it? Shut hey guys, up. guess what? She's gonna write it. Ha. And you know, this kind of goes to show that you can find inspiration from nearly anything, including evidently AI nowadays. Oh, look at Brendan bringing it right back to the point of the podcast. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's almost like we're goddamn professionals. I, I don't know about y'all, but for me, the point of the podcast is to hang out with you guys. Oh, no, I'm liar. waiting for that oh, sweet, sweet you. Harry's razor money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was, uh, 
Oh, what 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 would the what's what's the title of this story? Mister <laughs> Mister Biggles' Big Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, no it could regrets. just be called Ghost Stories and be very unsettled about it. Uh, oh 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 oh, explode! Like that, like like that one Queen song. <laughs> we are sex bomb, mom. <laughs> <laughs> sex bomb. <laughs> oh oh oh, the bombastic Mister Biggles. <gasps> yes. yes, yes, I love it. Awesome. It's bombastic, Mr. Jesus. All right. All right. Yeah, take us out, Pip. All right. As always, if you have an idea or prompt to submit, head on over to nostoryissacred.com slash submission. Follow us on Twitter at nostoryissacred or send an email through contact at nostoryissacred.com. Your hosts have been Alex McDonald, Brendan McDonald, Pippin McDonald, and Catherine Creighton. Editing for this episode done by Brendan. Transcript done by Ashley DaCosta. Art by Jay Wolf. Show notes and transcripts are available at nostorysacred.com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and please rate, review, and subscribe to No Story is Sacred. You can also visit our Patreon page to support the show and get neat rewards at patreon.com slash nostoryissacred. See you next time when we talk about the 1998 movie, The Mask of Zorro. Until then, we're No Story is Sacred, and any story can be changed. I'm Pippin. I'm Alex. I'm Kat. And I'm Brendan. And we're... No, no story, story is sacred. sacred.